This video will introduce you to some ways of using Google Voice to simplify the process of getting in touch with students and to make it easier to include the information on the Brian Connect spreadsheet. So the first thing, you'll want to make sure that you have a Google Voice number set up and you should also have a Google Voice icon set up in your Google Chrome. And if you don't have this done yet, you can contact Lane to uh, get that set up for you. If you don't have his email address, you can access it on the tips sheet of the Brian Connect document. But it should look like this um, word bubble with a phone in it up here in the upper right hand corner. So let's say I have a student here, Brian Smith, and I want to contact him uh, to ask him what's going on with his homework, why it isn't turned in yet. I can go to his name on this sheet and then control C once I get to the phone number to copy that number. Then go into my Google Voice by clicking on that word bubble and then just paste that number in here and then I can enter my message to that student and I want to make sure it's something that's phrased in a way where the student knows they need to respond or get in touch with me and so I'm going to put in a message And these could be proactive messages if an assignment due date is coming up, or they could be retroactive if a student didn't get something in on time. And then once you've entered that, you just click the send button to send that message. If you have one message that's going to go out to a lot of students, what you can do is write that for the first student. And you would actually want to personalize this more by adding a name. But then the part of that that isn't personalized, you can just copy that with control C. And then once this has been sent, you can go to the next student. Um, so I'm going to just open up my Google Voice again. And if I had sent this message, this wouldn't populate. But I would just paste that same content into the message box here. And then again, personalize this one. And then I would just need to make sure that I go back and grab the phone number for the correct student. Uh, control C to copy. Then go back into the message that I'm composing and paste that number. So you can copy and paste um, to get most of the content here that you need if you're responding to a lot of students on the same topics. So that's how you can send texts. And then you would just want to note in your document that that's being done uh, which we've discussed in a different video. Um, an another set of tips, if you go into, if you go to Google Voice itself, which you can get to by going to www.google.com backslash voice, uh, this, this is where you can access any text messages, voicemails, anything that comes in from somewhere. So you can actually add your students as contacts. If you do this at the beginning of the mod, this could save you some time because then going forward, when you click on the Google Voice, instead of needing to enter that copy and paste that number every time, you can just start typing the student's name and it'll auto populate the rest of the name. And then the only thing you have to worry about is the message itself. So to do that, um, you can go into Google Voice, which we just landed on and I told you the address for, then go into your Google Contacts. And from here, once it has finished loading, uh, you can click New Contact over on the left and then put in a name. You can put in an email address if you want, but all you really would need to do is put in their mobile number here. and. Once those fields are in here, when you go to uh, look up that student in, in your Google Voice icon, you'll be able to find them and text them without entering the actual phone number. Another thing that a lot of instructors with synchronous classes will do is on the first day of class, have students text just their name to their instructor. 
to, to, to their Google Voice number, that is. And when that happens, I'll show you where that's going to end up. Um, we'll, we'll have a link over here on the left that will link to all of the texts that we've received. We're still in contact. So let me get back to Google Voice. Over on the left, we see texts as one of the options. So we're going to click on that. And this is an incoming text I have from someone. <coughs> and all I would need to do to add a contact is click on Add and type in the name. Um, so if your students have just texted you their name through Google Voice, then you can just type in the name that is entered down below here and hit Create Add, and that'll add them as a contact going forward. So um, that, that's a quick and easy way of getting all of your students added in if you do have a synchronous session. Otherwise, um, you can also just go in and using those phone numbers, you can add the students to your contacts. So I hope this has helped to get you started with Google Voice. If you have other questions about that, uh, Lane Nielsen can help you get set up on that, or you can contact CTL for other questions about how to best use it for your classes.